Okay, so I just bought this 2020 Chevy Trax. I chose the busiest, loudest place to do this video. I'm sorry. And it's rainy, so the car's not completely clean and there's noise. I apologize. But I just wanted to give a quick review on this. This is a Chevy Trax, and it is the LT trim model. Um, I like the LED taillights on this thing. It's got this hatch and this thing here that can cover your stuff in the back so nobody can see into your car. I like that. Okay, it is a four-door. Come around here to the front. And it has these LED lights. No fog lights on this um, particular model. This is, I think, the satin slate color. Okay. Here's the inside. And again, it's been kind of snowy. So now I've got like salt and stuff in here. It doesn't look completely clean. All right. So here's the steering wheel. It's got cruise control. And then this, um, this takes you between like XM. It does have XM. It's got... Apple Play, Android Auto, which is pretty cool. It does have a Wi-Fi, has OnStar, um, XM. So you can sort between those with this source button, volume up and down. You can hands-free talk, which is nice. Um, and then this thing here pushes in and out, this button does. And then you can see it brightens your screen this screen and this screen so that's nice at night and then you just pop it back in to lock it has auto lights all right coming over here then um, this home button takes you to the main screen to sort through what it is you want to do rewind forward of course hands-free calling um, these are all self-explanatory there's not there this car does not have any heated seats this particular lt model it does have two USB plugs right here, and which, if you plug into it, um, that's what connects you to your Apple Play. Um, let's see here. There is a um, plug there as well for your charger. And it does have, this model does have the manual option, so you just use this button here to flip between. Let me move my mask since we're in the mask era. Here's three cup holders right here. Okay. Um, you can get a better idea here what the seat looks like with the print on it. It's a nice seat. And then like the dash has the embroidery. Um, underneath this seat is a pull-out drawer. If I can figure out how to use it. There we go. So I put my manual and stuff in there just because that stuff always takes up so much room in the glove compartment. Just kind of freed up some space in my glove compartment. Okay. Has, this particular model has the lumbar button to give you a little more support on the back, but everything else is manual. So this cranks your seat up and down and then it is a manual um, forward, backward seat. But I mean, it's an attractive little car on the inside. Okay, and then let's go in the back seat. Okay. All right, so back here we have this kind of plug. 110, 120, whatever that is. I think it's a 110. Um, pockets on both the backs of the seats. Again, I have a mask here in the way, but this nice little piece here folds down so that your passengers can have some cup space. Folds back up. I'm not gonna do it because it's kind of wet out here um, and I'm kind of cold, but these seats do fold down. So you would lift up this seat by using this strap and then you pull, pull this forward. See how I'm separating it? You just pull this all the way up and then fold this seat down. Actually, I just did it. <laughs> Why not? So that's how you do that. You just lift the whole seat forward and then you would 
fold this one down. Now, if this seat was pushed up further, this would go all the way down and then, then you'd have all this cargo space here. So that's pretty much the gist of the car. And the other side folds down too. And one thing that I didn't mention yet is um, this seat folds all the way flat too. I would have to move my purse. Um, you just take not sure if I'm doing this right being there we go so this this is our um, passenger seat and it folds flat so then if I would fold that seat right there flat then I would have all this cargo space in this little car pretty cool so um, again this is the 2020 Chevy Trax it's a small little car, but it's it's fun to drive and it's super good on gas. This model does have the luggage rack on top. Okay. Let me know if you own this vehicle and what your thoughts are. So far, I'm enjoying it. I've only had it a couple days. So hopefully I can drive it one of these days when it's not an ugly mess outside. Thank you and have a great day.